Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. White Wolf, they call you? You stand accused of offending religious sentiment. We've orders to take you in for interrogation. Surrender your weapons. Bullshit. Not doing it. As long as I get a receipt. <laughs> Over my dead body. Told you we wouldn't fool him. Well, you're due a beating. It'll just be more of a challenge. Remember the preacher who spoke of witches and witches? A man you humiliated before his faithful. He asked that we administer a sacrament on his behalf. Your last rites. Bullshit. Ain't happening. You're dead. Come on now. Oh, slice the man in half. <laughs> hey, there he is. Hopefully this guy can craft him. You need something sharpened, reforged. I need something made, friend. Like you craft some. Aha, here we go. Buy a couple of those. A boom. Silver sword. Boom. Night. We're running. Running, running, in, running, running, in. What are you crying? What are you crying for? Excuse me. I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside, class is in session. Uh, fine. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come after all. Why not? Oh, yeah. It's a waste of words. Wait an hour. <laughs> I'm just peeping through the window. Hello? Teach me. Teach me. <laughs> now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems. No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. <laughs> Maybe. No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. <laughs> Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelion's? Mere exercise is true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Ah. Uh. No, no. Didn't see any. Gee up. A snakely whip rose skyward. Gee ho, crack! She reined the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lava bathed its chinny chin chin. Sorry, don't know much about poetry. That was, that was a bit much. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. <laughs> I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Okay. Didn't really help me too much. But okay. Two more to find. Behave yourself. Just 
this Baronet's love Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding out. Be gone. Greetings, Witcher. Must admit it's curious to see you here. I don't quite believe in coincidences. Geralt of Rivia. Slayer of monsters. And my son. You're right, General. My visit's no accident. I'm looking for someone. There's no one here who wishes to see you. Captain, this man is not to enter. Forgive me, Morvran, but I've lost my appetite for the races. Kill a woman's son and appear at her doorstep? My, my. I thought witches had better survival skills than that. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. I fear your information's out of date. Molly no longer works here. Seem to know who Molly is. You also know she doesn't work here anymore. Know where I can find her, maybe? This time of day? Probably sipping punch and considering which horse to bet on. Not in the mood for jokes. I jest you not. After Arian's demise, Luisa's nephew came to pay his respects. Got one clance of Molly and, well, they wed soon after. They now await his inheritance. With the Paranus's son dead, the estate will go to the nephew and Lady Lata, known until recently simply as Molly. Fair right. enough. So where'll I find the newly minted Lady Latar? Our dear little Molly has a new passion, horse racing. To my knowledge, she should be at Countess Vagelbud's villa right now. That's exactly where I'm going. Since you stripped me of Louise's company, perhaps you'd agree to come along. Uh, I'll find my own way. I think I can find my own way to the Vagelbud home. Very well. Perhaps I can convince you to join me later at the races. I should keep an eye out for you. I'm gonna go see Rosa first. Would you want? Rosa Varatra is expecting me. Supposed to give her lessons in swordplay. Come with me. Miss Rosa awaits. I'm not. I'm not the swordplay instructor. I'm not. Miss Rosa's got a downright beast in temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the little miss. You'll learn yet. Follow me. <laughs> what was creepy? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your work. <laughs> Why did we ditch our clothes? What the fuck? Yeah! All right, come then. Ow. You ain't nothing. You're just swinging wildly. Literally just swings. Oh, 
Easy. Well bought. You're much better than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? I'm a witcher. I'm looking for... A witcher? That's splendid. I always wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. Uh... uh what's so exciting about it? Living on the edge. Tracking, then facing down beasts. Sleeping under the stars. Oh, it must be wonderful. Hmm. Try fighting a Zugul while up to your neck in sewage. <laughs> I don't quite like it. Not one of the high points, I suppose. Wait, weren't you about to ask me something? Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. All right. Damn, you're ugly. <laughs> Carol, you, you can't, you can't say that. That's not. That's not okay. That's just rude, man. Oh, that was funny. What timing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rosa. Didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, I promise. It's not great with conversation, our Geralt. Easy. If you're not an instructor, you should be <laughs> Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Sure, why not? And rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you she wants to bang. whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix ups mastermind Edna Var Artra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Sorry, you lost me. You're not the first to be confused. I'll explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was mm -hmm. left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Mm. Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? <laughs> for one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Uh... Who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. But who knows? The bard might have invented her just to make us jealous. Pitiful chorister. I'd say it worked. You've gone all red in the face just talking about it. Your face will be red when I scratch your eyes out. Jesus Christ. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here tomorrow? Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. <laughs> Geralt, womanizer.
Where's the staircase? There it is. Uh, nothing hurts as much as life. Uh, this way. That's that's one way out. Okay, I guess we go to the uh, Vegelbuds residence. Geralt looks just just top tier. Top tier. Maybe that's why every woman that he's meeting is like, ooh. Ooh. See, at the start of the game, no one was interested because he looked like a pleb. And now, ooh. He's not a pleb no more. Vegelbud residence. Yes. You managed to find the place. Not that hard. It's not exactly a small concealed hovel. I must say, of all the creatures in this region, I find steeds most intriguing. Horses interest you at all, Witcher? All the same to me. Call each one I ride Roach. Strange. The Grey is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Yeah. Grey is a good color. Even looks good on horses. My coins on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. <laughs> Seem to know your horses. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. <laughs> what would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Hmm. Why not? Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Ha! <laughs> Splendid! In that case, you must choose a mount. Hmm. Zeracanian. Think I'll give you a run on the Zeracanian Bay. Cantarella for me then. The horses are saddled. Let's begin. Let's go. Riders ready. Come on, Gideon. Alright, we gotta win this race. I'm having that saddle. He adores speed. He's a drug addict. Almost. Alright, get some get some stamina back. Final stretch. Let's go. Easy. Take it easy. The roach I chose put in a nice run. Exceptional. I've not lost the race in a while. I congratulate you. That is yours. I'm pretty sure I've ah, had look, one before. Lady Latar has just arrived. Who? The woman formerly known as Molly. There she stands. Right. Thanks. I should be here for a time. Find me if you'd like to ride back to the city together. Who do you favor, my lady? Decide between the black stallion and the grey mare. Keep going back and forth, back and forth. Sorry, don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again? 
Mm. That's right. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from an hundred paces? What? Dandelion <laughs> could... <sighs> Never mind. Any idea where our master archer might be at the moment? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. Ever since I became Lady Latard, it's been nothing but balls, banquets, and other such... Well, what's it? Congregations. Awful tiring, all this. But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. Uh. <laughs> you do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister. Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they're different fathers. Mm -hmm. Different sure. mothers, too. Maybe. But you can see he cares for her. <laughs> looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... These packages. Any chance they were trunks, travel cases? And this girl, possibly a Trubaritz? Yes, yes. Now I remember, she's a traveling performer. Sailed in from Kavir. Talented family, innit? Exceptionally. And very loving as well, I'm sure. If you only knew. Dandelion even wrote a poem for her. To my dearest Kalanetta. Or some such. Oh, to have a brother like that. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. He's such a player. He said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles and he'd <coughs> sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. Thanks, Molly. Wait, before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. But I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks. And good luck to you on your search. Okay. Washed your hair lately. We're returning to Novograd on our own. <laughs> we're, we're not going with this guy. We're consulting with Zoltan. Meow. Uh, here. We're doing it. Right, Zoltan. Oh, what's this? I'm not even drunk of water. Not a bound. Now repeat. Save a ray crackles. <laughs> ah, you're back. You met Poppy. Want to stop talking any day now? Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure you know me that well? Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But <laughs> we want to talk about dandelion. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, not much of it. He wasn't staying with any of them. Seen hiding her hair of him in ages. All I learned was a few of Dandelion's pickup lines. Dubious, of course. Hmm. Think I might have something better. What are you waiting for? Let's have at it! Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, 
mystery woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Why wasn't she on the list? Mm. This Priscilla wasn't like the others. The young dandelion more than fancied her. I think it was fair, but... He lusts after every other woman he meets. <laughs> How can I explain? Who does dandelion love most? Himself. Exactly. And she's his mirror image. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more. The laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers, too. Reynard and the Fox. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. You mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Fair. Right. Go back to do that. Visit the haunting, haunted house again. Let's... Sarah, what are you doing? What are you doing, Goblin? Are you purring at me? No! Freak me out. Sarah had been responsible for my nightmares. I decided to see if the devil was as scary as they paint him, or her. I came in to find not a fiend, but our little Sarah. And I can't say why, but we took a liking to one another immediately. Long ago, nice. to isolate themselves from a world of beasts, humans began building cities. But since beasts prowl within stone walls as well as they do outside them, this did not allay human fears. The truth is, walls guarantee no one's safety. The place where you lock yourself in and lock all else out, that's not your home. Your home is sometimes a place you travel long and far to find. Nice. Nice. Sarah's got a friend. Let's do these fencing lessons. Ronvid's friend. Oh. Prepare for battle. Oh wow. It shall not this have guy. Easy this time. Broad friends. Huh. They all pledge to defend Maid Bilberry's honor too. No. No, no, they defend justice. For it is only fair you face a treason. Is that so? Yes. Okay. For you are a rogue and a cheat, sir. You never revealed yourself to be a witcher. Fine. You never asked. But since you've all gone to the trouble, let's fight. Bad idea. Ow. Time to end this. Oh. Okay. I did say I'd kill him. I d I did say I'd kill him. <laughs> okay. Uh, such is my quest. I wandered the villages of this fair land of Ellen, singing the praises of Maid Bilberry. I shall bring due f due fame to her unequalled beauty and unparalleled charms. Maid Bilberry is without a doubt the most intelligent, most understanding, and most compassionate of all creatures to walk this this our imperfect world. Fair. Well, you you're dead now, friend. <laughs> you, 
you're dead. <laughs> Sorry.